everyone today is the start of week four and I'm not feeling the best I haven't really stuck to my word over the last couple of days and really giving in or well, gave in to a lot of chocolate dark chocolate peanut butter red wine last night I had two toasties for dinner and again whenever I have this sort of food and cheese and I just have the worst sleep and I'm in my belly I feel so disgusting so I'm actually doing a weigh-in today <laughs> and oh yeah I like I made some really good progress as you want to see my last video um in like two weeks I'd lost um pretty much about two kilos and just looked a lot um tone and slimmer around the waist and everything but this way in today is, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's my own, my own fault. But come with me today as I, you know, get over it. And the past is in the past. No one ever can get through a program and be 100% perfect like that. You know, we are human. It's just, you know, this is just what happens. We have these temptations around us and sometimes we just can't help ourselves and sometimes we're not organized and that's what happens. So come with me today as I rebound from this and show you um, what I need to work on and how I can go about making sure that I keep, um, keep going with my progress, keep going towards my goals and how I tackle these little hurdles that I come across. Um, but already the feeling of not staying on track is with me that sick yucky feeling in my stomach and I'm already feeling like harder a bit harder to breathe which I think is really crazy how quick that can happen but it's still locked down it's a rainy day in my car ready to go to the gym the time is 8 20 I said I would be there at 7 30 trying to like stick to lockdown kind of um you know get myself up early and go to the gym but anyway come with me to the gym let's see this way in it's not going to be pretty but anyway this is my raw and fearless journey so i'm going to show you everything so let's go Not a massive gain on the scales, but just feeling blah. <laughs> Clean up my food a little bit more today and for this week. And hopefully each day I'll just keep feeling better and better. But body update, I will do my small waist measurement, my large waist measurement as well, and see what that's up to um, at the moment too. So you can see what's happening there. But it's relaxed and flexed. Yeah. Baby quads are starting to come out as well. Like I can see my little, oh, I can't see much in this mirror. But I can feel, got a little lump happening here.
Yep, I am definitely feeling a lot weaker from the food I've been eating over the last couple of days because those chin-ups felt really hard and I actually went down a rep. All the other weeks before um, this week, I was going up and because of my nutrition, because I went off track, my strength has just gone right down. Those chin-ups are so, so hard. So it really just goes to show how much your nutrition not only affects your body weight, how you feel, but your performance in the gym. So I'm unable to do assisted chin-ups or get to unassisted chin-ups down the track if I keep going the way that I was or if I stop eating nutritious meals for my body. So, and like this has just been such a big eye-opener and things that I knew, but just recording it and seeing it in place and literally writing down what my weights are, going up, eating really well, and then had a weekend that wasn't the best and now it's going whoop. So I'm gonna try and get it back going up and that's what everyone's journey is like. It's a massive roller coaster. The biggest thing is you just gotta keep going. You can't give up, you just have to keep going and keep trying to do better every single week. I have done my workout and yeah, for each exercise I felt so weak and like I could give more but my body was just like no not today and again it just goes to show when you're not eating right when you're not eating um, nutritious wholesome foods just your body doesn't like it and it will not perform as good so I did my small waist and large waist measurement my large waist measurement stayed the same so I thought that was um pretty interesting and my smallest waist went up 0.5 and I can feel it in my stomach I didn't do like as bad as what I thought, like the damage I'd done on the weekend, I didn't think that, uh, like I thought it would be a lot worse, but it wasn't as bad. Um, but even with my lifts, like I still did okay, but I just didn't improve. So it really takes that constant nutrition, constant fuel in your body to get the best out of yourself. So I hope this is a bit of a lesson for you guys and seeing what I'm going through, that you don't make the same mistakes. But Mistakes do also lead you in the right direction and keep you pushing forward if you choose to learn from them and not give up on yourself from those mistakes and go too hard basket because you've got to realize what is the potential that you have and where you can get to or do you want to go backwards because I know what choice I would choose and that's definitely going forward and being true to myself and really trying to stick at those goals that I set uh, at the start of this challenge. So I'm glad I came in, got my workout in, even though I felt like shit, even though you know I didn't perform as good, I still did it. Progress is progress, even if it's just showing up at the gym. So. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be eating for the rest of the day, but I haven't had breakfast yet. The time is 9.50, so I really need to get home, have some breakfast. Too wet. Stay. Oh, and you're dry. You get to be inside. <gasps> yes. This is so weird. So another little thing I did to boost my mood, and just because of lockdown, I decided to put a little bit of makeup on today. I am terrible at makeup. I just slap it on. <laughs> it's way too dark for my skin. But I just wanted to feel a little bit better about myself. So if you're feeling a little down. Chuck on a little bit of makeup, um, even in lockdown, it's just nice to boost your mood. And I am going to put a little plan in place to get organized and to get my meals and food organized so that I don't have any excuses to go into having snacks and stuff that I shouldn't have. So I am going to do that and move forward because there's no point staying in the park. I already feel so much better after having my uh, mango oats, as you would have seen. For lunch, I actually had, and I ate it way too quick, I had some um, leftover tofu vegetables with um, like a 
rice noodles. That was my lunch um, because I did my upper body session this morning. So I've had two meals, feeling so much better. Another thing that I find really helps me is having my pre and probiotics. So I've been having some of those as well. My guts already feels like it's settled. And having my flaxseed oil tablet, which are just so good for your skin, hair, nails, your heart. Amazing, amazing source of omega-3, very, very high in omega-3. So many of us are high in omega-6. We have a lot of butter, oils, things like that. So it's really important to balance that out. So if we're out of balance, that's where you're gonna have digestive issues and um, you know, not feeling the best and things like that. So having your omega-3, so flaxseed oil is a really nice high source, so I have that. And it's just gonna be consistent and really put it in that commitment now, I feel. Week three is always that testing point where they can go on and push through and get amazing results. Or it is the time where people go, too hard, oh, I might just forget about my goals or they just, it just is not at the top of the priority list. So, if you are at week three or mid through a challenge and you notice that you are starting to go off the path that you need to go in, now is your time to regroup, regroup with me <laughs> and let's get organized and start getting some shit done. So now I'm going to spend some time getting into work, but before that, before I get through my biggest to-do list there with lockdown and moving client payments, all that fun stuff, I am going to be doing a little bit of journaling and I'm actually gonna show you what card I get today. I'm feeling motivated, I'm trying to group, so I'm going to be asking the universe what are my next steps to help me even further this week to get on my journey of um, you know, getting towards my goals, doing what I love, of growing my business, growing myself, all of that kind of stuff. So we'll see what my cards will pull and I will show you what card I get. Card is, it's actually got a little book where it's got all the descriptions in the cards so I know what the cards mean because I cannot learn the 62 cards in this deck. And the amazing thing about that is I still, I've had these cards for two years and I still haven't gone through the whole deck and I pull a card maybe every second day um, sometimes once a week just depending on how I feel but pretty much what I do is whatever the card deck I have I will shuffle it and I will just feel what card jumps out at me or that I feel most attracted to um, so I wonder if I can just even just film this now and because I know even when I'm trying to get in the right headspace for a card I kind of think to myself what guidance do I need to help with and normally I do a little bit of shuffling but I've only got one hand so let me just see if I can Ask for some guidance and see if there's maybe a potential card that will jump out at me. And I will just kind of keep going till I feel like I need to stop. And that's that card right there. So, and which way, so normally when I pull it, I just will grab it and, and look at it. Sometimes it might be reverse, sometimes it's right way up. Um, and I just feel this energy towards this card as, as weird as it might feel if you've never done this before, but I definitely feel like I'm really in tune with when my body says stop or when I can feel um, into the energy or whatever you like to call it. I just feel a certain, yep, okay, Miranda, this is your card that you need today. So I will pull it over and then I will read the description. So this is the card that I have. And it's communi oh, what is it? commitment. I'll turn it up right first so you can see it. So commitment, one of roses. And it, I actually pulled it reverse like that. So I've actually got to read that reversal. Mm. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this so you guys can see me. So I've just realized, as soon as I went to go look up this card commitment, which was reverse, I literally was just watching a YouTube um, video. And it was all about commitment. And he kept saying the word commit, commit, commit. You just have to commit. And the words really spoke to me in the fact that, um, you know, I didn't commit over the weekend and commitment as in, you know, pursuing my passions. So even commitment to this YouTube channel um, was, I was actually watching a self-help YouTube channel because I want to get better at doing this and, and grow in this. So he just kept saying the words commit and I, oh, I don't know. I just felt really funny getting that card and then looking at that word commitment. So I'm going to read out what this card means to me and how it can then help me throughout the day. And I do this a fair bit to give me direction, um, just makes me feel grounded and excited. Commitment, um, one of roses, commitment was reversed. And usually reversal doesn't mean that it's bad, 
but normally it means that I'm not committed, which kind of fits into what's happened to me these last few days. So let's see what it says. Start committing to yourself. Try not to lose sight of the greatest partnership of all, which is your connection to the eternal, powerful and valuable self that is in your soul. Your spirit is longing for you to commit. Sorry about the dishwasher there. So a little force that it gives me as well, and this really helps me if I want to meditate on this. And it says, close your eyes and with a deep breath, bring in the word commitment. Feel its energy fill you with dedication and purpose. You are ready to make a priority of every commitment, large and small, in your life, especially to yourself. I love that so much. And it's exactly what I needed for what I was feeling these last couple of days. And, you know, watching some self-help um, videos on YouTube, really, it just, I, I just always get the card that I feel I need at this right time. Um, so if you are struggling with direction and purpose and sense of self and all that kind of stuff, grab some tarot cards like these tarot cards were from a local shop here in Aubrey um, and there's just so many of them around that you can just grab your hands on them um, I think it was called the goddess emporium they have crystals and lots of things like that there um, these ones really stood out to me so you want cards that I actually picked up a, a, a packet of tarot cards when I was there but it I don't know I just thought oh I have the tarot cards I'll just get these but then I kind of just saw this underneath all these other cards uh, I was I was just really drawn to it and I grabbed it and I'm like wow it's so beautiful and the other ones I just had nothing attached to that no energy connected to that so I just put it down and I took these home and then these have just been an absolute lifesaver they're a beautiful deck of cards um, so I do recommend you go out and even on the internet I know you can't if you're in lockdown like me you probably can't um, <laughs> go out to any shops but if you jump online I'm sure you'll be able to find some that you still get drawn to on the internet commitment that is a that is one thing that is going to stick with me today and I'm going to commit to getting my jobs done and commit to doing my meditations and um, some journaling done so commit guys So this is my lunch today. So we've got a cauliflower and chickpea curry. There's just some rice underneath. On top, um, coconut yogurt, or you can use Greek yogurt as well. Um, one of my go-tos, super easy to make. Um, it's just cauliflower, chickpeas, onions, peas, and Rogan Josh, um, which is a curry that you can, or a paste that you can buy from supermarket. Being a pre and probiotic tablet, and some flaxseed oil tablets as well to get my good fats in. Get a nice whole meal. But yeah, this is typically my lunch is leftovers. I always try and make bulk for dinner so then I've got leftovers for lunch. And this is just one of my go-tos. It is absolutely delicious. seen in that video I hit a bit of a milestone today so being able to do a um, forearm stand without the wall now I did have a catch in front of me just for safety but I've been doing a lot of mindset work and really stepping into the person who I want to be and before I did that I thought I can do this I actually imagined myself as Morgan Rose Marone, uh, Maroney I think it is and if you look her up she is absolutely incredible for handstands and all the stuff that she does but I just thought I'm going to do it I'm going to do it I believe I can do it I am Morgan I am Morgan and yes I can do it and really stepped into that power and really tried to bring my mindset and everything into it so I could do it and I did it and I didn't have any assistance I didn't fall like I was worried that I was going to fall and I was worried that I was going to go to the side or so I was going to hurt myself but I actually did it and I did it for a second time because I did it the first time and I was like, oh, shivers, I need to go grab my camera. But it's amazing how much things are starting to connect with where I'm at now and the work that I've done before with my horse riding accident. So I fell off my horse because I believed I wasn't good enough. I was always scared to ride. I was scared to fall. So I was going to fall. It's 
this is what can also be the same with you and some of the challenges in your life and some of the things that you deal with is because you believe you're that person that falls off a horse you you're scared of hurting yourself you're scared of falling you're scared of failing so you're going to fail so you really need to set yourself up for success and believe that you can do it and train your mind to believe yes you can because it's in there like it is so in there just waiting to come out and that's a big lesson I have learned so with this you know the dedication and that kind of setting me, stepping into my power to do that forearm stand so we'll go into when I go ride a horse again because I don't want to be nervous when I'm riding a horse I'm going to say I can ride I can ride and I'm going to picture myself stepping into say the qualities of a fearless rider and I'm going to step into that power become fearless, become this new character to ride this horse so I can hop on the horse and not fall off and stay on with a great seat and have the best time. So anything that you're struggling with at the moment, you can do it, you can get past it, you can get through it, you can get to those goals and really setting yourself small significant wins to keep you going and to keep you happy and feeling successful as you go along. So before I did that forearm stand, in my head my little goal was I'm going to come up into a forearm stand easily and hold it for five seconds or more. And that's what I did. And now when I do it, I'm going to set another little goal and another little goal and then go away from the couch entirely and do it without having the couch and then do it without using my forearms and then come into my handstand practice so I can actually then do that handstand. But yeah, that was absolutely awesome and I can't wait to keep improving with it. I actually just did 10 of 90 kilos it is just I felt like I could do more so my goal in this challenge was to hit 150 hip thrusts and I'm so gonna try 100 I felt super strong doing 10 reps of 90 I reckon let's just do it give it a crack see what we get uh, but it's just crazy to think I started with body weight then an 8 kilo bar then a 20 kilo bar every week about 10 weeks ago so I've been going up 10 kilos pretty much every week, which is super, super exciting knowing that I've had, you know, my two fractures, I was bedridden for so long and not feeling 100% and just, it really goes to show consistency wins every single time. Like, so you're just gonna keep going guys, but feeling good. Let's see how we go with that 100. Let's do it.
would have just seen in my workout video, I actually hit some major goals, which was very, very exciting. So I did a 100 kilo hip thrust. So one of my first goals um, was to be able to get 150 kilo hip thrust. So I originally did nine reps of 90 and then I just thought, that was really easy for me. So let's just try the 100. Um, and so this is only week four. So that is just absolutely crazy. Like how much our body can bounce back from say an injury. Like I had a pro broken um, sacrum 10 weeks ago. Um, actually it would have been a little bit longer than 10 weeks ago because I started back weight training 10 weeks ago and I literally started from scratch. I started from just body weight the next week I did an eight kilo bar. The next week I did 20 kilos. The next week, and then I just kept going up 10 kilos. Um, and even this week I went up 20 kilos. So persistence is key. And knowing how amazing our bodies can be to bounce back after such an injury. I was just lucky that I had a weight training uh, background. I've been weight training for years and years and years. I can't even think of how many years I've been doing it for. It's been a very long time, definitely over five years. And how much muscle memory I had and to be able to get back on track. So that was a huge win for me. Um, my results physically have been a, I, I feel a little bit challenging because the last two weeks, as you would have seen in one of my previous videos <laughs> that I put on here when I was feeling really down and talking about COVID and things like that, and that I've just been pretty much eating my feelings. Um, that's been a really big struggle and I only went down my waist a little bit um, but then again, it's like, well, you kind of get what you put in. So I, for two weeks, was feeling miserable and just really struggling. So that's what showed in my body. Um, so now moving past that and just finding things that works a little bit easier for me and a little bit um, of a challenge for me, I guess, was being at home on my laptop, struggling with this new routine that I've had to do because of COVID. And then actually going, okay, I'm actually going to set myself little mini goals throughout the week, um, which will lead me to the big goals. So working out twice a day, doesn't matter what it is, setting a set schedule for me to get up and go and do that exercise. So I've been doing the couch to 5k run, which has been really helpful to get up, but making sure I do it early in the morning. So I'm not wasting my day, I'm really motivated for the rest of my day because I've got that first little task done. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I, yeah, I really hope that you can relate to some of the struggles that I've been going through. Um, but the thing is I have made a commitment to myself to do these videos every week and I am just determined to get to those goals to show you that if I can do it, any of you guys can do it as well. So thank you so, so much for watching this video and I... Really, really hope that you're enjoying my experience. Please subscribe if you want to keep watching my videos every week. Hit the notification bell button so you can be notified every time I release a new video each week. But thank you so much for watching. And also thank you so much for all your support and love that I've been given um, for doing these videos because the reason I've done them is to help you guys and to, you know, learn something from my mistakes or learn something from... Um, my achievements as well. So hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.